Saronis Leonis. He is a product owner at Visma Finance, and he will be taking you through a year with Kamunda. Sarunas, can you hear me? Are you able to share your screen? Uh, yes, I'm here. I hope you can hear me. And so let me share my screen. Thank you. Loud and clear. Welcome. OK. Uh, do you see my slides? Yes. Perfect. Uh, so uh, I will start with uh, my journey about year with Kamunda. So shortly uh, about myself. So my name is Sharonas Launas. I work in Visma Group, one of the smaller companies uh, called Visma Finance. Uh, it's a corporate startup company, like started almost two years ago. But uh, I will discuss uh, and uh, sh share my journey with, which is one year ago. So, but before going into details, I will briefly present uh, what Visma is, uh, why Visma Finance was started, what was the purpose of of all this uh, company, what's our product and how Kamunda help us here. Uh, also, what part Visma Lietuva, Lithuania is taking in all this puzzle. Besides this, I'll briefly tell you one year journey and what we have achieved so far in uh, cooperation with Kamunda. So uh, about Visma. Uh, Visma is a number one um, software as a service company in Europe and one of the largest software companies in Europe, top five. Uh, Visma delivers uh, software for a lot of different industries, which is ERP, financial management, hospitals, schools, kindergartens, uh, logistics, recruitment, uh, etc. Um, our major goal is to create more cloud products and have more cloud-based solutions, uh, which is where most of revenue is coming from today. And of course, aim uh, to have it as close to 100% as possible. Uh, so in short, facts about Visma. So Visma is, uh, there are more than 110,000 uh, employees. Uh, from these, more than 4,100 are developers. So we are as a software company. We have more than 1 million customer contracts already in the company. And this makes Visma a leading market leader with ERP solutions and other products in Nordic countries and some Eastern European countries. Uh, last year, focus was uh, and still exists over the Netherlands, where now we are a very big player. Uh, Wilsma also acquires a lot of companies and usually rarely starts something very new from the scratch. But this is not the case for Wilsma Finance, and now I'll describe more in detail why it is so. Uh, Wilsma is growing consistently and fast through like organic growth, and as mentioned previously, through new company acquisitions. Uh, at the same time, we see that we want to add revenue streams from the existing customers. As we have more than 1 million business to business customers in Europe, there is an open question how we make sure that we provide even more services and get even more revenue from every single customer. So for this uh, specific purpose, a uh, company Visma Finance was started almost two years ago in Stockholm. And personally, I joined Visma Finance project almost nine months ago. Okay, so Visma Finance vision. Um, Visma Group's strategic vision was to become a leading financing source for a small business in Visma core markets, like starting in Sweden, and actively contribute to customer growth and prosperity. So to support this vision, at first, Visma Finance product was launched in October 2019. So I'll come into details um, later. So how we can achieve this vision? It's by utilizing the, our customer base, which is like, as I mentioned, 1 million business to business customers, uh, using our Visma's data to offer unique, like embedded, fully automated financing solutions, and also facilitate growth through long-term competitive pricing strategy. So uh, what's Visma's finance proposition? Um, as ev everyone understands, um, small medium business market is growing more and more. For example, in Sweden, it is around 50,000 new Aktia Bolag, which is limited liability companies. Uh, our company started per year, and in the end of 2000, trend was e that even more of such companies will be established during year 2020, which is this one. The main problem of these companies um, but many of them can be related to liquidity. The banks, even if there are many of them in uh, Nordics, still have manual procedures and it takes quite some time to get financing, uh, especially if the financing amounts are not that big. 
usually it's too many hassle to ask for financing in the banks. And Visma Finance wants to provide that service and get help for them more easily. And the solution is already here. It is fully digital, automated as much as possible and fully embedded into financial services uh, ERP. So, uh, as, as mentioned, we want to help small business with their financing needs. So, how we do that? Um, uh, one of the key things is, of course, data. Uh, so, data is, um, uh, is a core thing uh, in, 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 in our, uh, let's say, product. And uh, first and most important, uh, that Visma, uh, nobody else has this data. In Visma accounting systems, there are hundreds uh, of thousands of companies and their data. Having it and wisely utilizing it, uh, we can trigger unique opportunities that uh, just wait to be unleashed. And one of the key things here is creation of right scoring models based on the Visma's data, and of course, combining this Visma's data with external data. And this combination gives us more than ever before accurate credit scoring in the SMB sector. Uh, next, but also very important, is proactive offerings. Here, with the help of Camunda processes, we proactively give customers offerings directly in their ERP systems every day and for every single invoice they create within a second. Uh, there is no need to onboard, no need to do specific verifications or etc. Uh, the amazing speed of the decisions to give offer or not to give is one of the big advantages that uh, we achieved to having a good combination of our scoring models, Camunda processes flows, built an engine using Java and correctly set up architecture. Uh, I need to mention that all this data is of course securely kept within Visma. Visma instead of using third parties. So as a software company, Visma has very high security standards and this uh, brings additional value to our customers who are already using Visma's ERP for their daily financing operations. So started as a startup, uh, we still continue in the same manner and we have the green field for our operations and ideas. Uh, what's our then Visma's strong competitive advantage? Um, like to sum up things, uh, Visma has the brand. Uh, customers already trust because they are using Visma's ERP systems. We have embedded solutions. We have real time and distribution power as we already have a lot of customers and there is no need to search for somehow or more new customers. And also we have uh, access to our internal capital. So all this combination gives Visma uh, real uh, advantages and uh, competitive advantages. So how um, uh, third company I mentioned previously, uh, Visma Lietuva or Visma Lithuania uh, is uh, putting into this puzzle. So the last player in this is Visma family, is Visma Lietuva. From technical point of view, for daily handling of all this business solution based on Kamunda, to keep up with the latest updates, security patches, like business improvements, new features, uh, customer service, etc., a team of dedicated IT people is needed. And this team is provided by Visma Lietuva. So I will shortly uh, present you Visma Lietuva. Uh, Visma Lietuva is already a 10 years in whole Visma family. It has 100% Visma's own delivery center with 360 employees, where most of these are developers. We are very cost efficient and provide best quality due to a specific strategy and working guidelines. When it comes to customers, we are very close and usually it's a one hour direct flight across Europe. So this is a very good advantage. Also, our mentality is quite close and it's easy to establish good relationship and sign agreements. Which this reflects in high NPS, which is net promoter score, given to us by our customers. Uh, Visma Lietuva competences. So we are like very, um, we have more than 50 different projects. We have very skilled professionals and we have various competences through the company. So we have easy knowledge sharing. We have uh, possibilities to get easy help and get support. And uh, this uh, also helps in our projects when we have issues with like databases, Kubernetes, uh, Amazon services, etc. And you, as you see you know, in, uh, in the slide chart, um, so we have a lot of different like uh, IT competences, which is 
helps us to uh, serve our different customers in their different applications, different ERPs, and also like to support even like uh, old, old or legacy applications. Okay, furthermore, uh, I will now move to the demo and details. And uh, this, uh, this demo will be showed on our, uh, one of Visma's ERP called eAccounting and how it interacts with Visma Finance Solution based in Kamunda. Uh, we are using Kamunda Enterprise version and currently we have already built in three products. In the beginning, we started only with two products, which was Spot Factoring and together with this uh, automatic customer onboarding tool. And in May 2020, uh, like only two months ago, we launched Contract Factoring product. So in general, it's a, uh, we sell a factoring product and its variations. So we buy our customer invoices and for a small fee, take risk of financing them, even if the invoice receiver fails to pay for the invoice. So our product is called Visma Bital Direct, which means get your money directly. And logic here is very, very clear. So as you see, uh, you just create your invoice as you usually do in your uh, financing application. Uh, the second step, you just press sell button instead of send the button to the customer. And the result, the money is in the account, your company account the next banking day, even though, for example, the due date on the invoice is 30 days ahead. So the advantage is you get very quickly your money back. Okay, now I'm jump to the demo. Uh, this is the e-accounting window uh, where most of our customers work. And uh, we are running into our first spot factoring uh, processes. Um, okay, so we do all the bookkeeping automatic automatically in the ERP. Uh, we send it in our ledger. We do all the invoice distribution by mail, post, electronic post, whatever the customer possibility is to receive. So, and uh, this is very easy. So as you can see, uh, this is the main window and uh, First action, what customer needs to do is he needs to fill in uh, the invoice receiver. So when he chooses invoice receiver, uh, he immediately gets out uh, a small pop-up information window where he is uh, like presented with the possibility that if you fill out invoice details and art like your uh, articles or gods you are selling, uh, you can get a suggestion that your invoice can be sold and you can get like money. So a uh, customer fills an uh, article, article name and quantity, and when all is done, uh, he immediately sees that this invoice can be sold and he can receive the money next day. So if a customer is interested in the deal, uh, he can just press this green button, which is post the ledger and send uh, all this uh, invoice. Uh, he would uh, end up his selling processes with a small notification that that's it. Um, so it's like very, very quickly and easy uh, in the UI. So there is nothing, uh, a lot of not, no, no complicated steps and uh, nothing very, very uh, heavy. Uh, when this happens, um, it's a short uh, overview of um, our spot factoring process. Uh, uh, Benjamin presented a uh, Kaviemo tool. Uh, so this is the Kaviemo sketch, uh, how our spot factoring process uh, uh, looks uh, in, in reality. And you see it's like, um, looks like not very complicated, but it has several uh, to say colored boxes and you can you can see in these boxes uh, what is what so uh, in reality uh, the whole process is like that so it's quite big and quite messy but it all works fluently in Kamunda uh, when when it comes to the cockpit it also was presented uh, earlier so we see this view and this view can be used by business to work uh, in in in, uh, in daily daily life uh, when it comes to onboarding, as I mentioned, our process is like fully automated uh, and we have um, uh, very, very slight uh, uh, steps, which is like you can see on the front end. So it is basically only four steps. And of course we do all the um, 
AML things, all the KYC, uh, all the pep questions uh, we want uh, to, we asking customers why he's needed uh, the financing and, and stuff like that. So it's all simply done in the front end. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it would be almost all automatically, but um, we still need some, uh, according to uh, banking regulations, we need some uh, manual handling in this case. Uh, so some steps are manual handled here, but uh, in the back end, it looks more complicated as you see in the back end flow. Uh, and in Camunda's cockpit, it's like that. Uh, but uh, the good thing that, as I mentioned, we need manual handling and manual handling here, uh, we use directly Camunda's uh, UI. So this is the window from Camunda's task list. And uh, as mentioned by, by Benjamin, it's fully adoptable. And we actually adopt this to our own needs and, uh, and use it uh, as we want. So it's very, very convenient for business to to use this uh, UI without like need to, I don't know, uh, develop any outside uh, application. Okay, uh, so what's next? Uh, work in progress. So uh, how we are doing so far? Um, we have started like a year ago, uh, which is in production. So we have two products uh, and which is onboarding and spot factoring. Uh, what's happening uh, when we launch the products, we start to adjusting our credit scoring models. And in the beginning, we were checking about 110 different business rules, 32 for onboarding, 78 for spot factoring, before giving an offer to customer. On the go, these rules, of course, were updated to loosen or tighten some of the areas. So uh, as we were getting speed and sales were steadying, uh, steadily growing, we were optimizing our scoring models, improving products and planning to launch new ones. And the uh, business, for example, business to business loans product was really under active creation and development. But then COVID-19 struck. So market needs to change. Um, risk factors uh, need to uh, be adjusted because they went wild because of the economic crisis uh, or at least some influence that he has. So support our vision on May, we introduced a new third product in, in uh, which is contract factoring. We reviewed scoring models and added about 40 new business rules, updating existence and adjusted our roadmap for other products and implementation and of course expansion plans. So in June 2020, uh, we had a record month in sales, which is 10 million Swedish crowns purchased during the month. Despite the global changes, it uh, looks like we are on the right track. Uh, and of course, an active summer holidays uh, went in, and, uh, but still uh, development team were uh, high on the working phase and we redesigned existing product and added more features, possibilities and benefits to customers. So reviewing risk and business rules according to market changes. And so we are on the new start. Uh, so this month we will be launching, re redesigned and improved our existing product. And in total, we will offer like five products to our customers, uh, introducing recourse option. So we also revised our credit scoring model. So what, what it means, we have more products and we have less rules from, from 150 business rules, we went down to 120. Uh, what well, about plans? Uh, after September, new start, we'll focus on expansion to other ERPs, also enlarging sales and financing possibilities to our customers by providing great financial solutions package with proven success history in reality, because we already like one month in, 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 in production, it's always going fine. So our roadmap uh, factoring is already in place, so we can have a green check mark there. So we are aiming to have like credit insurance. We want to launch business loans. We want to introduce pay with this product. And we also thinking about having deposits to self finance all the product. Uh, well, cooperation with Comunda. Uh, I'll maybe quickly go through this because some of it's already mentioned. So why Comunda? It's an open source. So there is always a community behind it, which gives us many true information about Camunda, its possibilities, features, even problems and ways to solve it. We can register bugs, feature requests and track their progress in Camunda's Jira, uh, get support and inform our business users or even allow business users to track this on their own by having read-only rights. 
uh, also Kamunda is flexible in terms uh, that we use Java developers and they do their magic on the engine performance. Also, we utilize Kamunda's built-in VPMN interface if we need to update it on our own, allowing business people to do more stuff on their own instead of asking us uh, IT to, to help them. Uh, also, it's comprehensive and transparent. Uh, so we have full visibility and traceability freedom for performing specific tasks, restarting processes, making decisions. All in all, we have direct collaboration between business and IT developers, users. And Kavemo uh, uh, is like one of the key tools here for new process implementation or making changes to existing ones. Uh, also, Kamunda is scalable and adaptable. We build on REST API. This allows us to have quite transparent processes for all is Visma ERPs. For the moment, we are in one ERP only, but goal is to polish processes, implement more features, add more products, and build an attractive and fully working financial solutions package. And with this package, move to new ERPs or even new countries. What else? Out-of-the-box tools. Kamunda is offering several out-of-the-box tools and for business users, for developers, and dedicated to separate areas, for example, like design, modeler, and Kavemo, automation, cockpit, task list, workflow engine, decision engine, and improvement reporting, optimized, which was very briefly and nicely described by Felix. Also visualization, you can see full journey, what is, what's happening with the customer in each step. Uh, no specific interface has to be created for this. We just take it and use it. And for some specific task, developers can easily adapt Kamunda's user interface, which is compatible with simple HTML forms. Uh, architecture, process, and events management things are in place. No need, uh, need to try drop, you just click the button. Uh, also, there is a support for uh, microservices and orchestration. Uh, maybe last is very developer friendly. Uh, Kamunda's GitHub has a lot of info and samples, and Kamunda support is active and helpful when searching the best solutions for the customer's problem, because we had some very niche problems with the uh, updating and restarting, for example, Kamunda as engine, and that was really a headache when we had quite long downtimes. But Kamunda support was very, very active, and they helped us to solve that problem very, very quickly. OK, so basically, that was very quickly <laughs> about my journey uh, in, in, in with Kamunda. And I hope you uh, have some questions, which I can gladly answer you later on. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.